Hello, welcome to Cosmic Turtles. My name is Tina, and I pre-shuffled, and we have these cards here. We have the Three of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, the Hangman, that's in the middle of the reading, the Devil, and the Seven of Swords. I was just about to put some clarifiers on there. So basically what this says, in one way that I can look at it, the Three of Wands is you're waiting for things to move, you're waiting for the changes you've been asking for. And Wheel of Fortune is right next to it, so the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. However, you're in hangman position. You're um, you're not sure which way you want to go. You know what you want. Wheel of Fortune is with you, but you're still in hangman position. And I asked the question, like, why are you in a hangman? Why do you feel all locked up? It says, temptation card came out, the devil card and betrayal so it's something about the past but that's why you're not able to move forward so it's in here you gotta make your fortune change in a way that would be beneficial to you and change your mind do some you know try to get yourself out of the hangman position you've been looking at things differently now it's time to get back to yourself Let's see what we have for clarifiers for the Three of Wands for the Collective. Three of Wands, what do we have? It's one, yeah, okay. Magician. You got the skills of the magician to be able to make whatever it is that you want to happen in your life come to you. Because this is about waiting for your ships to come in and he's doing something about it. In the card. He's waving his wand around and everything, and it, like he's he's not forcing an outcome, but he's working what he has. This person here, and to clarify it, you got the skills of the magician. So basically, the magician is there on the side of the water, waving his wand, and the boats are coming in, the ships are coming in. Now let's get a clarifier for the wheel of fortune. We have judgment. So for the wheel of fortune, we got two of them judgment and then the sun. So it's going to turn in your favor, but you got to release what no longer serves you. You got to make a judgment call, make a decision rise up from the ashes rise up from your own feelings of defeat or being a betrayal or whatever happened before rise up from those things see yourself in a better light and then the sun comes out okay. whoa the next clarifier is for the hangman I pointed at the wrong one hangman you're in hangman position because you're in your feelings this a bit more. Just have it lined up. Okay. Hangman position because you're in your feelings about things. What the f Excuse me. Let me just pause this. Uh, I'm back. I'm sorry for the pause here. I, I don't know if you guys heard it, but there was a big squealing of wheels outside that just passed by. There was no accident or anything, so. Uh, yeah, maybe it's significant. We were with the hangman in the feelings, and sometimes it makes us lose sense of where we are, who we are, and we get distracted. And so maybe that's what we're supposed to be avoiding. All right, a clarifier for the devil card. What do we have as a clarifier for the devil card? Don't let yourself be lost in emotion. It's justice. Hmm. Devil card is clarified by the justice card. So there may be a balancing of karma happening before you can even get to your ships coming in. You have to do this internal journey and then
He looked at things differently. You saw where the temptations were, and you're avoiding them because you're following the law of the universe. Let's see what the next card. Uh, the next card is Seven of Swords. Let's see what clarifier we get it on. We get with that one. I don't know if you noticed, but the whole top row so far, it's all major arcanas. So whatever it is that you're going through, the divine is definitely helping you with this. They're all major arcanas. Wow. There's a lot of major arcanas. What is the clarifier for the Seven of Swords for the collective at this moment? On a deeper level. Stand your ground. It's the Seven of Wands. Stand your ground. Stand your ground with yourself. Cause these are feelings of betrayal that you felt from way before. It's like you're rising above this. You're rising above this. From the hangman to the moon, you're rising above this. You're not just shutting down emotionally and cutting the whole world out. You're actually going inside and figuring and let yourself be illuminated. What a reading, wow. That's really interesting. So if you want to get where your ships are bringing you, like if you want your ships to come in, what it is that you'd like to bring forth, pull forward into your life, manifest. Stand your ground on who you used to be or how, like, stay with the rise of the phoenix. Stay, like, um, keep yourself going. Stay encouraged. You're better than what you used to be, and then you got a lot of help. The universe got your back. Wow, that's an amazing reading. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight major arcanas and eleven cards total. Wow. For those of you that follow numerology, this is pretty amazing. So this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles, and this has been your reading, and we'll see you next time.